Did Weathering Waves fail? No. We are going to take a look at the May revenue chart, and I'll go over some evidence that shows why Weathering Waves definitely didn't flop. I'm going to be doing another Lunite subscription giveaway on this video. I'll send the winner $5 on Cash App to buy the Lunite sub, or honestly do whatever you want with it. To participate, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and drop a comment below. Wuwa reached 7th place in gacha game revenue in May, and that's despite a few huge things that affected its rating negatively. First of all, Wuwa was only out for 8 days in May, while almost every other game besides Solo Leveling was out for the entire month. Second of all, this is only mobile data, and Weathering Waves had game-breaking bugs for multiple days that didn't allow people to even get into the game from mobile devices. Third of all, Kuro gave out a massive amount of rewards and compensation which allowed many people to get many more characters in the game than they originally should have. You know what getting all the characters I want for free means? I don't have to swipe the credit card for them. And last, and to be fair, least, there is a male on the premium banner. Females sell better 99% of the time, and that's a fact. Yinlin will outsell Jian, I can almost guarantee it. Genshin made less than 50% of their revenue last quarter, and I honestly do believe it's because most people were either watching content about weathering waves or jizzing in their pants to be able to play it in those final 8 days. But that's just speculation. A better guess would be just the fact that Hoyu Games took a hit due to two new big games entering the scene, Arknights massively overperformed this month due to KFC skins being released on Global, and both big Hoyu Games are in a bit of a dry patch right now. Also, many Hoyo first enjoyers are building their hype towards Zenless Zone Zero's release on the 4th of July this year. By the way, let me just fire a shot in here. Honkai Star Rail and this mega dead patch is still towering over Genshin, even though the degenerate side of the Genshin community said that this would never happen. It's happened many times at this point. Anyways, that's my breakdown of the May Gotcha revenue chart. Weathering Waves did not come anywhere near failure, and I'm excited to see where the game lands in June once the game has been out for a full month to farm and Yinlin's banner is out. Just a reminder, to participate in the Lunite subscription giveaway, just like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Until next time, peace.